welcome back everyone to the channel and to the final on the 36 modified by MPC. Uh, pretty nice kit. Pretty nice kit. Like I said in the first video, pleasantly surprised. Uh, certainly nothing that you would expect from MPC. Not bashing and just uh, not a hack, just a observation that uh, you know MPC are, you know, is not known for their uh, their good fitment and and the detail and all that. And this this kit's not loaded with detail. The engine is fairly nice. It's a nice representation of uh, you know a 427. Uh, it's got Wheeland head Wheeland heads on it. Um, I added a aftermarket, an aftermarket velocity stack and a piece of wire mesh screen in the top. Put a Arrowhead aluminum distributor wires, plug wires. I also, you'll see in the in the video of it, uh, the little uh, snap. I mean the uh, uh, slideshow of it that I put a. Now, the one thing it does not come with, uh, it, you know, I wish it did, was radiator hoses, a radiator hose of some sort, or anything that uh, would give the representation or the illusion, of, or not the illusion, the representation of a radiator hose, at least a top hose, or nothing else. And so I did a radiator hose with crimp tubes for the connections and uh, pony bead lacing rubber tubing with a wire insert for the radiator hose and it probably not to scale but close enough for government work so it uh, at least gave it something it didn't look like it was you know it really looked obvious that it was missing that so um other than that no fitment issues uh, i don't didn't have any issues really at all. Uh, everything went together pretty much as it should. The only thing I can think of right off the top of my head is you want to watch out for is the headers. Like I said, the flanges on there, if you're going to wire it up, you're going to have to file down the indentions where the plug wires are going to go. You have to do that, and you have to make sure your, your, your headers are and the flanges are flush against the heads or else the headers will ride too high in your side bar. Uh, this bar that's on the uh, side of the car will be interfering. The headers will be up here where the bar goes in and you won't be able to. I had to, actually I had to move this one down just a little bit. Yeah, I had it, uh, actually had it installed a little bit high. Uh, the bottom side, I couldn't tell, but the bottom side was not touching the head. So I took it off and reinstalled it flush against the uh, against the head and that and that took care of all that dropped the um, collector and all down and was able to get the, the other side was fine but this side was causing the bar to, to interfere with that uh, with that header so we got that straight and it uh, the body goes on and it it just two glue points you right there and then there's a back piece metal piece in the back you can put a little glue spot on that and, and let it touch the body and it you know it anchored right up so uh sets levels it's a nice really nice kit so i'll i'll probably get the probably get the 34 um uh, I'm, I'm assuming i don't know what it's supposed to be chevrolet this is supposed to be a ford i think and then there's a pinto and a uh vega um i don't know well we'll see about those two but i'll definitely be getting the kind of the sister car to this this one here so all right We'll uh, run a slideshow by you here and let you check it out, and I hope you enjoy it. So for your consideration, the 36 modified by MPC. Hope everyone is, uh, has had a good week. I'll be moving on next to the Mercedes AMG GT3 by Tamiya will be the next project. So take care of one another. Don't take any crap from anyone. See you soon.